Hello cookbook friends! We're gonna be looking at the Nightmare Before Christmas official baking book. And I know Halloween is done, but Nightmare Before Christmas is awesome. So we're gonna look at it. And this cookbook has so many cool recipes in it. Um, you can use these for so many events and it'll inspire you to build on other ideas. Plus there's even Christmas stuff in here. Of course, it's Nightmare Before Christmas. You can take the spooky out of it. All right, so here we go different chapters it's not too much we have one cupcakes blood curdling bakes we have two savory scary bakes frightful cookies is chapter three and shuddersome sheet cakes is chapter four chapter five is the show stopping cakes so here is an example of one of those smaller bakes this is stunning i would not if you serve this to me i wouldn't be like this is definitely from nightmare before christmas i like this you can use this for so many different ideas even if you had somebody who liked blue for a wedding you can use this recipe deadly nightshade blue cake parfaits here is more you'll notice this is kind of a lengthy recipe there's a variety of different uh difficulties so this one just happens to be the a pretty tough one so the top is the description we have our ingredients and then of course here's our directions we get cute illustrations throughout this book too which is fun i love that here is christmas tree gingerbread cupcakes now here we go we can literally use this for christmas time frosting probably a lot but it's still really cute we have these bug of our bag of bugs high cat or high hat cupcakes I like this because you learn a ton of techniques throughout this book. In fact, something I've noticed with some of the Disney cookbooks is that they are so whimsical, so fun and technical. I've learned more from them than some ordinary cookbooks, if that makes sense. I learned how to make my own gnocchi. I learned creme brulee. So many things and techniques in these that make it approachable and easy. So I do highly recommend checking these out. This, highly technical and highly hysterical. It's so gross, I love it. So here is a slice. It's literally like the movie, it's so funny. Okay, so we have here striped skeleton suit baked coffee donuts, tasty. Another cool thing about this is that you could probably mix and match certain flavors too. This you could take the creepy out of pretty easy and just make it a cute little wreath and have it for Christmas time. This is pumpkin king pumpkin pie. I think a cool tradition would be to get together for Thanksgiving and you can watch Nightmare Before Christmas because it basically is the in-between time between the two holidays. And I really love the transition and blending of the two. We have Lock Shock and Barrel Mini Cake Trio. Let's move on a little forward. This is the Sally Blue Helping Hands Cookies. Another pretty easy one, but I like it. Toffee Espresso co or Coffin Cookies. That would have been a lot of fun to make for Halloween. You can have this for any time of year. We like spooky stuff at our house, so you, you bet we're going to be making some of these throughout the year, including summertime and spring. All right, so here is some showstopper cakes. We have a coffin cake. That striping is insane. I have to say, like, I'm impressed. Pink Easter Bunny cut up cake. I actually don't recognize the character or anything. Here we have the pumpkin head trace leches cake. Oh, that is probably amazing. We have a black cat, black cat banana cake. Very precious. Tiny head Sandy Claus gingerbread Christmas cake. This is amazing. This looks like the claymation uh, Santa Claus a little bit. I mean, it's definitely got elements of it. And of course, we have this orange chocolate Yule log that would be great if you are if you're maybe doing Yule instead if you're looking for a simple or natural Christmas decoration it would be perfect and of course a vampire teddy black forest cake 
So this is a fun cookbook. It's got a lot of cool recipes with a lot of techniques, lots of color. Um, in the very beginning, it does talk about some tools you might need and what kind of techniques you might wanna check out as well. Um, but they make it simple and easy and approachable. So check this out, this is fun. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas baking book. If you're looking for some other cool baking books or cookbooks, check out our other playlists and join us on our socials. The links are down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe, to follow, to let us know what cookbooks you guys want us to check out next time. And thank you so much for watching.